Uh, y'all like niggas doing this uh, trend of the deluxe? Like, just add another yeah, album? Uh, <laughs> what y'all think about that? I think if it's spaced out, like, a couple months... Like, how Pierre then, did it, it was yeah, the anniversary. Yeah, like, that's wavy for me. But, yeah. like, if you... I don't like the way I don't like the way Nav did it. Bro. Yeah. 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 Like, bro, give me some, bro. Cause yeah. I still haven't listened to that other one because it's like I like. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey! Oh my god! I'm so high, it's like you got. Say how you feel with the clothes you buy So everybody think I'm rude when I walk by I ain't like these niggas need to separate No matter what you do, people still gonna hate People still gonna hate Fellas, fellas, fellas. No Label the Pod, episode yeah. 31. Yeah. How y'all feeling today, man? I'm feeling very pleasant. Very pleasant. Yeah, it's uh, very a little pleasant. Bit, very, very sweet, a little feeling, feeling okay. Why better sweet, man? Oh, the city's crazy, dog. Nah, nah God, for real. The city's crazy, man. Don't get me started. Rest, rest in peace to them two young girls. Yeah, I, I think it was two got hit and one, one's, one's dead. I don't two, think the other both, one. Both. I like, when did the other one die? Uh, I want to say when she got to the hospital because she got hit by the car. Yeah, she got ran over. Yeah, fucking crazy, man. Damn, man. I actually to those girls, man. Those women. Those women. Facts. Okay. Senseless shooting. I think they said the party was ending too. The party was over. Probably was. That's usually when the ruckus be happening at the end of the night. Yeah. Or or the ruckus will cause the end of the night. They said this one, the night was already over. Uh, I, from the videos I heard, uh, that shit sounded like motherfucking Call of Duty. Like I'm talking about like three four minutes straight busting. Like damn, three four minutes straight. That shit is crazy. Like I heard it was like fifteen people shooting type shit. Um, two people I hit, two people who wasn't shooting. Damn. Like, that shit is not. Yeah, that's just, it's the same on the city. Sure, I mean, I guess it's a blessing. I mean, two people got hit, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's obviously, it's unfortunate for them and their families, but all the people that was at that block party and only two got hit. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, bro. Like, Black Lives Matter, but we gotta start fucking you know, stop killing each other, too. Like, feel me? Like, yeah. That shit is weak, man. Super weak. It's weak. Yeah, Buffalo ain't the only city either. So Hell, nah. Chicago, bro, they been wild in Chicago. Yeah, so you know what I mean. We just gotta do better, learn more, do better. Yeah, man. Sure, what, man. What boys is listening to this week? Man, there was a couple wow. drops this weekend. A couple it drops. Was a lot, bro. It was a lot of music came out. Uh, I know I've been. Uh, Y'all listen to Black Giant. Yeah, yeah six pack. I still didn't listen to it. Six, six piece. piece. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> the only, six the piece. only thing I'm I'm honestly been it. playing is just Pierre and eighty eight glam. Or as sorry. of recently, yeah, I added mad shit to my fucking my library this week. Uh, I was to that six pack. Uh, that joint was that joint was pretty good. It was mm-hmm. a good like three. I said it was a good three songs that like I really fuck with. I probably listened to. I listened to it maybe twice. I uh, go back to it though. It, I think it has to kind of like grow on me. Uh, I don't like have like a full take on it yet, just because black black stuff. He he really it's more slow. You kind of got to be in the mood mm-hmm. to to uh, feel that. Yeah, like, that's true. I didn't expect. I don't know. The ATL freestyle was kind of misleading to be a single for this for me. Because yeah. I expected him to like if it's gonna be an EP six piece hot. Sound like some hot shit, hot bar. So I just figured he was gonna be on his rap shit the whole time. Yeah. But he still just gave us regular black. I mean, it was cool. I still liked it, but mm-hmm. it was a little misleading. From the from the title, I feel that. Yeah, and ATL freestyle was him like talking that slick talk yeah. with the witty bars and all that. So I just expected that for the whole EP. Facts. Mm-hmm. You normally get off on his freestyles like that. Oh, he trying to get his bars off real quick. But yeah, it was it was a good like it's, I ain't gonna say it was bad, but I ain't gonna say I loved it. Nah, not by any means. <laughs> that, that definitely wasn't bad. Nah, yeah. I heard personally it was no skips. Like I heard three songs, so I can't really judge it, but because yeah. I only played like a couple. Um, but I heard through like if you play it all the way through, it's no skips. Yeah. From the names, I mean. Yeah, some, yeah, I don't know. Some people was listening to it. It's like. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking when he dropped. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it's like it's like I, I I give I give black he earned enough like respect for me to like I'm gonna listen to it a few times just to like make sure like let me see what you was trying to do. I like the whole rollout he had for it too. He had his own um hot sauce, mm-hmm. the six hundred degrees joint, he had the little 
um, pop up shop, the little store mm-hmm. thing. Oh, okay. The cartoon. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice little roll-off for it. I liked it. Yeah, like the VR. Uh, yeah, the VR tour sure. joint where you mm-hmm. could be in the restaurant. Yeah, that was smart. That's tough. Yeah. For EP, that's that's love. That just goes to show for you to put that much, you know, time in the rollout for an EP. You know what I mean? Because you yeah. don't have to do that for EP. You don't you really don't have to. Yeah, the yeah. fact that he did just goes to show he really was, you know, he was excited about it. Yeah. He was looking forward to it. He hadn't dropped the project in a minute too, so yeah. he was kind of treating this like a like a um, back party. <laughs> yeah, like a whole debut album release, yeah. not debut album, just the album release. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how it translates, though. Because, like, yeah, you can do all the VR stuff. You can do all that good marketing. But it's, like, do it result in good uh, streaming numbers and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So, we'll see. We'll see. Definitely mm-hmm. a dope tape. Um, what I listen to? Um, this is a uh, project called Dinner Party by uh, be Terrace Martin, and Robert Glasper, Ninth mm-hmm. Wonder, and Kamasi Washington. Mm-hmm. They got a project coming out. I think that come out next week uh they got they got a single it, it's called freeze tag it's a little it's different it's a different sound but it's like with all those producers like i i'm i don't very jazzy yeah jazzy as fuck so it's like it's gonna be different so yeah I'm like I, I i appreciate different shit especially when it comes coming any coming from any of them mm-hmm. uh let me see what else i listen to i listen to CeeLo green CeeLo green dropped the project uh like CeeLo Green is Thomas Callaway. That mm-hmm. it, it's good, it's really good music, but it's not it's not for me. Mm-hmm. It's more like in that gospel uh Oh like, yeah, it's in that but the like I'm talking about like as far as songwriting and like melody structures and stuff like that, mm-hmm. it sounds really good. Like it sounds like it could have came out in like the eighties, like early eighties, like mm-hmm. it's 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 definitely it's definitely a dope project. Yeah, I, like it sounds like a soundtrack. It sounds like a soundtrack to a time where it's just like I appreciate him being able to even That's dope, that. especially yeah. you mentioned eighties too. That's that's mm-hmm. a good vibe. Oh uh, yeah, any independent, so I know he's gonna collect some coin from that joint. This is a fact. Um what else I've been listening to? Uh IDK and Friends too. Oh yeah, that was a new release, right? Yeah, yeah. I listen to that joint. That joint tough. I fuck with that joint. Have I heard about them? Nine, nine songs, twenty five minutes. Word. Yeah, this joint, this joint hard. The intro, or no, it's uh, the second song. Uh, Riley, that shit go hard. He got Juicy J on this joint. He got uh, ASAP Ferg, Denzel Curry, Maxo Cream. You got some. You got some Maxo. Yeah, this joint. It, it sound. It sound good. Like I'm definitely gonna keep listening to this shit. Just riding around in that joint. Hey, y'all hear that? Nah, nah. nah, I didn't listen to it. I seen it when I was scrolling the ad and stuff, but I didn't click on it. Yeah, I've heard of him for a while though. Yeah, it kept it kept popping up on my on my uh, on my timeline, so I'm like, oh, I like the cover, so I'm gonna listen to this joint. Is that Max B? Hell yeah, Max B dropped. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, five pack. Right. That shit sound good I'm too. Like, that shit sound good. That shit sound good. in chat. Oh, nah, I'm about to add that shit right now. Yo, five pack. That shit sound good. That shit sound like Big of Bell. Because he just dropped the EP. What was that? Like a few months back. Yeah. Yeah. Big of Bell. This shit dope. That shit had me. That joint no features too, right? Uh yeah. Death throw that in the chat, G. Yep. No features. Five songs, twenty minutes. That shit sounded dope. It's not, it, it, wave pack. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. <laughs> that, yo, that's that's the old. That's the, like a compilation, like his older shit. That's what I was bumping. Okay. The, uh, it's a uh, Charlie. So the Charlie EP. That's his new shit. Okay. But, like it's it sounds like Max B. Like yeah. it was so crazy about it's like yo, you've been in jail f- since '06. Yeah, so, man. Like, can't kill the wave, can't, man. Yeah, you really can't kill like, yo. <laughs> like, he sounds like in really good spirits. Like, damn, like, you could really keep your shit uplifted and, like, really, like, vibing with creating a wave from behind bars. Like, that shit is dope. Like, that shit is dope as hell. But, like, it definitely... He's about to come home. Be on shit, mm-hmm. man. That's why I'm excited. Yeah, bro. People gonna have to pay homage. So, I was listening to the... Uh, I had to add the wave pack. Yeah, <laughs> they, that joint on, they threw that joint on streaming services this year. So, I was listening to all the old Max B. Um, Bye. What else? Uh, Burner Boy dropped a single called Wonderful. Yeah. 
I listened to it once. I didn't really get into the vibe to listen to it though. I like like I just played it. I like that shit. That shit is that shit is like that shit is dope. Like I, I appreciate Burner Boy because he he keeps his sound. Mm-hmm. Like he don't like yeah you you made a song that like got hits in America, but like you not trying to sound like nobody nah. in America. Like I appreciate that shit for for sure. Yeah, because um, he's fired too. Yeah, shit is fucking dope. Yeah, his album was one of my favorite for that for the year. Yeah, mm-hmm. not this year, obviously. Listening yeah. to him and T.O. when we was in T.O. that was that was a vibe. That was a vibe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, was yeah, a vibe. It sounds some straight tropical shit. So yeah, shout out to fucking Burner Boy, man. Uh, what else? Else? I think the last thing I was listening to was uh the Nick Grant joint. God bless the child. Yeah, that joint's definitely tough. He been on music for a minute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause I remember listening to him a, a while, a while back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, yeah, he doing his, he doing his thing, man. Uh, he don't like bars at all, man. He, not at he, all. He has like, great bars, man. <laughs> yo, good shit, storyteller too. Mm-hmm. What's funny is like, I don't want nobody to kill me, but like he reminds me of like Nas. Like if Nas was like trying to like come out now. Like how I can see him having a hard time on like picking up steam and like having major labels support him or just having that support behind him, but it's like mm, his bars. It's not. Shit. It's not the. It's not the time for that type of music. Yeah, and it's like, but his bars is like unquestionable. Like this nigga, this dude is nice. He like, was on um a couple of West Side projects. He was on um Tana Talk Three. Mm. So I mean, he gets recognition from the spitters. Yeah, yeah. It's just the mainstream. Yeah, it's like, and he, and mostly because he independent. So it's like, I I hope he just like keep doing that shit, keep doing it, and and you gonna get the recognition you deserve because this this hit is fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you like bars and just overall great hip hop, definitely go grab that Nick Grant giant. Yeah, Nick Grant and Tay Beast, God bless the child EP. Bryce, what's good with you? Man, I've been on that eighty eight Glam, that new release, that Pierre. Um, I didn't get to talk about Pierre last week. What was y'all saying? Oh about yeah, it? you did. Oh, yeah, we, did mean, we didn't even really mention it last week. No, nah, we mentioned it, but we didn't go into like detail. In detail, yeah. Did y'all y'all liked it though? Right? Yeah, yeah, hell oh, for yeah. sure. Do yeah. you like the first or second part better? See, I like the second part better only because a lot of those songs I was expecting to be on the first part. So, cause I heard a lot of these songs and I had just been waiting for them just to drop. So, like, I was just more amped when I finally heard, like, the quality version, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, they both fire. They both flow, like, but I definitely like the second part uh, a little bit more. <laughs> Facts. For me, it's been Pierre. Um, in the past couple of days, 88 Glam, the new mania. Um, I'll be in Dijon, though. Um, that's a big, big, uh, big fan of them, for sure. Um, Dijon got a new um, EP. Yeah, the EP. How do you? It was cool. I, I forgot. I forgot what it's called, but yeah. it was dope. It was dope. I was listening to that too, and then I ended up going on Bandcamp to pay for their first album, Stay Up. Mm-hmm. Or not? That wasn't their first one. Was it their first one? Yeah. We okay. Yeah. Well, I um, think it was the first one I heard. Yeah, it was an album that they released that was just gone off all streaming services, and it's only available on Bandcamp. So. <laughs> For seven dollars, but I, I ended up like just it's paying that fourteen. Fire, though. Yeah, I, I paid fourteen though just to give both of them seven seven. You know what I mean? Like because well, it's, it's a two. Yeah, it's, 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 it's an artist. customer, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 man, yeah. it's an artist producer. You know what I mean? So it's like right. I know that they would want. You know, they would want get that. Especially back to the creators, time. man. Exactly, bro. It's just yeah, his album is dope, man. Too dope. But then them them the internet too. Um, been playing a lot of internet, mm-hmm. and it's still staying in that same. Same uh, old school bag I've been in. I've been cool, cool. cool. playing. Ta- I played Take Care today like twice at work. <laughs> this is work. That's I play. I was playing Illmatic earlier when I was working out. Word. Yeah, quick little forty minutes. I peeped you post it. I peeped yeah. you post a track. Um, what else I was listening to? Dirt dropped like a couple tracks for the deluxe for his own last project. Just cause y'all waited too. Them joints is tough. Been listening to Pierre, the 88 Glam, New Mania Project, mm-hmm. um, Black Giant. Let me see. I listened to T Grizzly's project too. T yo, T Grizzly, bro. Every time he drops a project, I listen to it. It always takes me like a couple weeks, maybe a month. But he never disappoints me, bro. He can rap. Is he like, Chicago? He's from Chicago. Detroit. Detroit. Oh, Detroit. Detroit. Okay. Like, bro, he can fucking rap. And yeah. he got into a lot. Like, I think this 
a couple of tracks on here. The tape is called The Smartest because he the only one in his family that's not in and out of jail. So he said that make him the wow. smartest. Mm. Yo, y'all like niggas doing this uh, trend of the deluxe? Like just add another yeah. album? <laughs> what y'all think about that? I think if it's spaced out like a couple months. Like how Pierre then, did it was yeah, the anniversary. Like, that's wavy for me. But yeah. like if you... I don't like the way I don't like the way Nav did it. Nav did it. Bro. I yeah. did it. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, give me some. Bro, yeah. I still haven't listened to that other one because it's like I liked your I like the album you dropped on Friday, but it's still a whole bunch of other music I got to get to that's been rolling out. I don't really got time to go to your deluxe. That's another. How many songs is it? It was another seventeen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, bro. Like wait a wait a wait a month. And I mean, a boogie waited. He dropped nine songs. Waited a couple months. Like if you, I feel like if you're gonna release a lot of songs like a, basically a whole other body of work, you should wait like a couple months for the deluxe. Yeah. Just but, so people can digest the first part. Exactly, but if it's only like a couple extra tracks, like maybe four or five, then yeah, you can drop it the next week. I'm mm-hmm. fine with that. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm not a fan of it, like pers- personally. Yeah, but like I get I get why it is from a uh, from like a business standpoint because you get the streams from that old album on this one too. Mm-hmm. So like stretch it out a little bit more. But it's just like I don't want that much fucking music. <laughs> like right, right, right. I don't want to. Because yeah. it's already overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like okay, <laughs> boom, you gave me fifteen tracks. Like yeah. cool. Don't give me another fourteen. And, and two weeks later, talking about this the deluxe. Like fam, like I don't want to hear that much music <laughs> yeah. on this vibe. Like well, see that yeah, that's and that's why I like the way Pierre did it was so way because he actually made it flow. Kind of feel like. Part two of the first album, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it all, it all kind of goes, and he, and he waited like a year. So yeah, like yeah. two weeks. Let yeah. me digest the album. I feel like, like a year. Yeah, I feel like people come. Sometimes they do it like they kind of force it just because it's like everyone else doing it. Everybody else is doing it. Shit, uh, I got all these songs anyway. Mm-hmm. Let me get rid of these so I don't waste yeah. them. And then it's just like let me just throw out, call it a deluxe. Well, if you already fucked with it, if you don't like the these songs, well the other songs are already on here anyway. Mm-hmm. So. You listen, nah. <laughs> like, bro, yeah. pretty much. Like, it really is just like a streaming thing and yeah, it's a trend. Like, yeah, yeah. I, don't like, I don't like that shit. It's I'm not with mad. The, it's with the rappers, though. Like, you know, the rapping game is it's hard. It's not hard, but it's... it's People so, stride. Yeah. People stride for volume. People yeah. want a They're lot fighting. of volume from rappers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's... It's, like you said, it's kind of they fight for it's overwhelming, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot of music now. Like we said before, right. easily digestible microwave. So right, mm-hmm. right. in and out, in and out. Uh, it was a couple. Was there? Have you seen any R&B artists do the deluxe? I know Jesse Reyes did it. Not like that. Not like how. Yeah, hers is only a couple like, songs. Nah, yeah, yeah, nah, not nah. like a whole other mm-hmm. album. Nah, nah I haven't either. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I, it makes me it, 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 it kind of goes back to that thing of like I feel like they try to make our music so uh, throw away like you can throw it away easily it's like it's not a it's not a thing anymore like you know, I feel like when the album just come out like no this is the moment yeah and it's like it, it kind of devalues that because it's like now you're trying to yeah you dropped this product it was a moment well, well oh since you liked it let me let me keep doing it and it's like nah I liked it because it was right yeah. then no, you don't gotta create that exact same moment again. So you're saying no albums now create a moment? No, I'm saying they do. I'm saying like you kind of, they're trying to stretch that window when they added the lugs. Like, like mm-hmm. oh, you like this? Oh shit, let me give you 14 of the same song. Like, yeah. no, I liked it because it was that at that moment. Instead of like, like I, I think back to like like Schoolboy Q, like he never made the same album twice. Like as much as we like Tiger to contradict and as much as we like Oxymoron, he never made that same thing again. Hmm. And it's just like, I but it's hard. This. It's hard for them now too because whenever they try and switch it up or um, evolve mm-hmm. and like create a new song, whether it's within their lane or not, they get flack for it. Like I mean, they get, the that's, old, that's, but then they gotta, yeah, that's they gotta be comfortable. With, they gotta be ready for that. Yeah, that's why I like shorter albums personally because like Eazy's Thriller, uh, Illmatic, like you really have to pick uh, nine songs. Okay, I really have to pick what I'm trying to say you know what I mean like it's not just gonna be 20 I mean mm-hmm. that's cool like if the majority of them are cool but for me personally I like shorter shorter albums cause they're just they're more focused you know what I mean mm-hmm. yeah you gotta make every line every bar yeah. count mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah that's a fact yeah man so yeah. so what's the concise decision on the deluxes I like it if it's fire like how Pierre right. did that's yeah. just fire yeah um and I like Nav shit too but like I'm just saying like 
for me personally, I enjoy shorter albums that I can have an opinion about. Because like you said, when you get when you when you look at that track list, that's intimidating. Thirty songs, yeah. like, mm-hmm. you you can't even really have a valid opinion because you have to get through it first. So yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're somebody that like to sit with an album like right. until it's done. Yeah. That's because that's how I like to do. I don't like really breaking up albums, listening to it here and there. Because you you could be in a different mood each time you listen yeah, to it. Right. Like each I, I part. Don't, I don't understand people who do that. Yeah, I like listening to it first track, the last, right in that session. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It's 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 a, right. The, the trendiness of it is it's a no for me. Well, the trendiness is winning, man. <laughs> just like um, no. just like Bucko, number one on Billboard. So, I'm so, number one. So, so he says. So he says. <laughs> Bro. Bucko. I'm number one. Yo, he was like calling out. <laughs> he, <laughs> he says like future. G Herbo, Future, <laughs> Lil Durk, Bro, Meek Mill. Please, <laughs> pay attention artists, to me. Like. Bro, but this is the thing, man. <laughs> if he, I really feel, I really feel, if he had done what he's doing now from the jump and just was like a funny dude like he would a lot more people would have fucked with him you feel me because he is funny but it's just like bro like you should have came out the gate well maybe being not you, being him, yourself, but a lot more, you know a lot more I mean? people will respect him yeah he, cause bro that's a, well, this is who he is he's a troll he likes to so like bro you should have came out the gate really trying to be who you are instead bro, of because artists. he was doing that before he was doing the rap stuff that's he was like saying, doing man. um clickbait stuff to get lit yeah. on like twitter tumblr and shit like that like wearing crazy outfits he would have never got his pocket no yeah of course yeah, yeah we know that yeah of course but Still. How you feel about that, man? Number one. I mean, I told y'all, when, get ready. When Lil Baby came out with the bigger picture the same week, bro. Lil Baby hit number three. This, this is my. What was two? I believe Roddy Rich and the Baby Rockstar. Roddy, that was man. that was number one to read this before. Roddy well, the baby, Jackson, the baby, the Roddy Rich. Roddy is the hood Michael Jackson. For real, bro. This nigga is surfing the charts. They say he's the, 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 the trap Anthony Hamilton, bro. Man, he's bigger than Anthony Hamilton. Yeah, I'm about to say. I was saying as far as his song, his music, his song. But this is my thing. You can't go on a rant one day and say, all oh, these numbers is fake. They faking all these numbers. And then from the same oh, exact no, source, what? say, nigga, I'm number one. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, no, no, Why can't he, bro? He's a troll, Fan. like you said. That's like, <laughs> like, that shit don't make no sense. That's like saying, yo, they printing all this fake money. Look at all this fake money I got. And then the next week, you get money from the same motherfuckers. Look at all this fucking money. Yeah, nigga, I'm the most paid. <laughs> No, you not. <laughs> nigga, what the fuck Listen, you man, about? I told y'all, but get used to this shit because this is the time where this nigga's going to be number one. He's going to be at the top. Man. Yeah. Bro, bro, this, only, it's not this, only, bro this only happened because the barbs. Oh, bro. They helped Who? push it. The barbs. So many people was listening to that shit outside, 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 period. Nobody. Right, conversation conversation is done. He's not number one. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fake. It's so fake, dog. It's it's hilarious, bro. Hmm. It's hilarious. You pay for your you pay for your numbers. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, man. Bro, I just have a problem. This thing, I think <laughs> it's really just because that little baby track dropped the same week and the impact it had, how big it well, was. Because yeah, that the and real positive people shit still couldn't get that to number one, bro. Yeah, right. people don't like positive. Listen, I mean, listen. I mean, definitely like what we say before: the impact on the culture matters the most. But yeah. still, bro, he should have both. He deserves both, right? But the, memory, that memory but the positivity is not what's gonna be in the light. You feel me? Mm-hmm. The, the bullshit. Yeah, they eat up the bullshit, man. Yeah. And like Nelson said, people be paying out. You know what she I mean? Does. They to hit to oh, get bread. to chart to chart. And a lot of these songs, so many songs that we all know as. Fire that's never hit a number one. You know what I mean? Like yeah. never even came close. Perfect example. Them eighty eight glam niggas. They're like, mm. they're not even like. You know what I mean? Like their music is fire, but you don't ever see them top of any chart. No. You know? Reasonable, yeah. reasonable doubt didn't break top twenty though. Hell no. <laughs> Nobody even you know, fuck with number was number number one when reasonable doubt came out. Ain't nobody give a fuck what number one was when Illmatic came out. That so, shit don't. That so shit don't it, matter. When did numbers bro? start mattering then. When social media came around and motherfuckers started. That's cat. No, that's cat. Yes, bro. Bro, numbers yes, matter bro. way before that. Don't no. lie. I'm really bro, trying to think. 50, I'm really trying to think. Fifty and Kanye were on the what? Rolling Stone battling who's gonna sell the most. If Kanye sells more to me, I'm fifty. I'm not. Um, I'm never making music again. Don't act like numbers didn't matter before social media, bro. Come on. But that nobody really cared because they was both going to be, be impactful like a motherfucker, bro. Huh? It was still going to be impactful like a motherfucker. Whether you saying Regard, whether, charted, whether whether it was a chart or not, not. whether yeah. if if Kanye yeah, was their both, they said yeah. yeah. If they was beat like oh yeah, who gonna chart each other like 
He didn't care. Them, al- them albums were yeah, hard. hard. That was people, mid. That people was, was going to play them driving track. down the street. Okay, they didn't the care numbers if it was still matter. Me and 50 were talking about, if the, oh, if the numbers didn't matter, then 50 would have made that statement. He wanted the numbers, did he not? He was Be- because he knew he knew just like y'all said it would raise sales. the numbers if he make that controversy and make them go at each other. So the numbers matter to him, did it not? I, to him, to him, <laughs> I guess so. So Drake and Swiss Beats, y'all want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, OVO and Swiss Beats now. Yeah, yeah. OVO. So um, <laughs> Nelson, you can tell the story. You was talking about it last week. Well, yeah. not on the pod, but before the pod. Before. Uh, yeah, uh, Swiss Beats and Buster Rhymes was on uh, the Zone Radio. It was on, I think it was right after the uh, John Legend, Alicia Keys joint. Swiss Beats was under just playing some music. He was showing some uh, Buster Rhymes appreciation. You know what I mean? He had Buster Rhymes on his live. They was chopping it up. And uh, Buster felt the way that his song got leaked. Well, uh, his Drake song got leaked. and uh, But he was, he, it was on the uh, Dilla beat. And Dilla's estate is known for not clearing any beats for people to have fun with. So, yeah, so Buster felt like the song got leaked, so Drake could just snatch, snatch the beat real quick. This is a new song? I, I don't I don't know, but it recently got released, or it got leaked or whatever. So he mm. felt like he leaked it, so that song couldn't make it, and he could just, I mean, take that beat and do whatever with it. So Buster felt the way, but he was kind of like being respectful, like, I ain't going to... Say the well intent, uh, uh, yeah, so, because they say stuff like that happens in the music industry all the time. You get yeah. somebody a verse and the song never come out because yeah. they just didn't feel like putting it out. You never know what happened to it, you know. Yeah, shit like that. Andre got so many damn songs. It's like, yeah, whatever. But uh, Swiss Swiss felt away. You know what I'm saying? He was just. Now I mean, he was probably just drinking. No, I was saying he's definitely under the influence. Yeah, he was definitely drinking. He was just like, well, Buster's place. Like, man, I'm getting real sick of these things. My filter is burnt. Da da da, da. and then. At, some, at the point he was just like man fuck these niggas pussy so <laughs> it just started bumping some music that shit was fucking hilarious <laughs> I I was laughing he was popping mad shit while the music was playing yo too. so then he he apologized like a day later or a couple of days later oh my yeah, god he, it, might have been, it might have been the next day then man. Yeah, he, I think he apologized he, he, said, he, said, he, was, he said he was in the wrong like so he headspace been he was big lit yeah he was big lit like he's, yeah. he's in the wrong headspace he was in the wrong space or environment <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. He probably was looking yeah. back at the videos like, yo, yeah, I'm like I look no crazy. <laughs> yo, so then uh, OVO Chubbs, everybody know who Chubbs, Chubbs is. Who was it? He's Drake's head of security, right? His man. Got so it. OVO Got Chubbs it. tweeted like, nah, we don't want no apologies. Just had that same energy when you see his mm. pussy. Had that same energy should. when you see his mm. pussy. As he should. <laughs> man, hundred percent. Shit. I don't think this is gonna escalate though. No. It, 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 no, we don't. We don't know why. Because the Almighty Jay Prince is gonna step in. Mob ties. He said you, you must be dumber than a bag of rocks. Oh, you told young boy, <laughs> you must be dumber than a bag Bro, of rocks. Bro, young boy was wild, but yeah. back all to Swiss. This nigga talks so slow and scary, like. But, but Swiss ain't no bitch though. Nah, nah, nah nobody's nobody saying that. Swiss. But oh yeah, Swiss was with the Rough Riders. Yeah, nah. Niggas but, gonna come pull up twenty twenty deep, nigga on bikes. <laughs> I mean, but here's the thing: none of us know the issues, so it's kind of like yeah. It it, looked, it seemed like it was it some uh, some old probably some old beef that they just rubbed each other the wrong way. They all they both got they got songs together. Mm-hmm. They haven't worked together in a long time though. Yeah, it's been a long. I mean, that since cost, uh, uh, cost since lift. thank me later, I believe. Yeah, so it's like if we had a number one song, or if we had a big ass song, why why are we not working together? That, that's a that's a valid question. And he got a song with Alicia Keys. He got the, uh, Drake got a song with Alicia Keys. Fireworks. Mm-hmm. So it's like, why? Well, whatever. So whatever. Something happened in between behind the scenes where it was just like they wasn't rocking with each other. So, hey, you know what I mean? I just, <laughs> I mean, he. Def- I feel like he should. Do you think he should have apologized? I mean, bro, if you're gonna do it, you might as well just. I, 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 no I, get, I, get, I get why he apologized. I get why. Because you look even like, you know what I mean? Like, if I were to go just wild out and I'd have to accept it, I'd wild the fuck out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but he, he he making money for a lot of people with his verse and shit. Like, that's a, that's a multi million dollar. Yeah, he making money. Money. Well, Drake's not coming on there. So? <laughs> but it's like. So, what do you mean then? But he has sponsors. Like, oh, okay, he's sponsoring okay, okay, with right, Apple. Yeah. He's doing all these sponsors. He's like doing international shit. Yeah. So, it's like, if you beef with the biggest. Musical artist right. right now, it kind of looks bad on your business end. I wish I, I wish yeah. I knew exactly what he said in his apology. Uh, I, I heard yeah, something yeah. like he didn't exactly apologize for saying it. He, he, yeah, he was just yeah, like, yeah. He's I was just, He's like, at a time like this, we just need to show unity and 
we shouldn't be it shouldn't be bickering over the whatever the guy was in he was in the wrong headspace. He's all about fathers and stuff like that. So mm. it, 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 I <laughs> he wished him a happy Father's Day, <laughs> but it was just like I, I get I he get was why Drake a happy Father's Day <laughs> for real. Wish everybody yeah, like Adonis. <laughs> that shit was funny, but it was just like I, I get why he apologized, and it's like. I'm sure he still don't fuck with him, but it's like it is what yeah. it is. You know what I mean? I mean, and they're both who they are. Like, yeah, like, they don't. They don't need to go yeah, yeah, Neither they, of them need to be mad at each other. Yeah, they, they both don't have to be in the same room if they don't want right. to. I got my money on Swiss though. Yeah, <laughs> what on um, what in what category? And fighting? I got Drake. I, got I don't Swiss. know. I haven't seen either of them fight, <laughs> and they both light skin. Hey, <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> light skin. I rep for him. <laughs> Well, that's the losing team, buddy. Sorry, they have Drake. Drake. They, have Drake. Huh? They, they have Drake. They got uh, Chris Brown. Who is they? The team the, the, the lights, the lights what team are you a part of? I'm, I'm neither. I'm in I'm my own entity. Own lane, yeah. <laughs> All right, buddy. Team purple. <laughs> purple so, A's. Kanye in the gap deal. Big boss moves. It was amazing. Big boss G-P. moves. What y'all boys think of it, man? Man, hey, listen, for all you, all you niggas, <laughs> trying, all you niggas that was trying to cancel Ye, and now no, y'all all, school. and now y'all all sucking them off. Y'all should have stayed down yeah. when shit was rough. Talking about Chief Keef ain't no hitter. <laughs> he making boss moves. Yeah, he is. So if you don't he know, um, Kanye signed a ten year deal with Gap. Easy Gap Apparel line supposed to drop like next year. And he hired First a Nigerian year, uh, designer to, to head it as well. Yep. Black woman. Yep. No, I think this shit's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> like, and he gets equity based off of how much. It, bro, their know. stock went up crazy. Forty two percent. Nuts. I, yo, the shit that I felt. Why, crazy I thing think is, not to cut you off. Crazy thing is, it's still not that much a share either, hmm. and it went up forty two percent. So. Yeah. Bro, that's bro. They they happy as hell right now. Yeah. Where. But it's just like it, it, yeah. you know, it, it's breaking down like it's kind of like breaking he's kicking down barriers for artists to really like get a shot to do shit with these big uh, brand name companies. Mm-hmm. And it's like I, I look at it like as far as like visionary shit, bro. Like he used to work at the Gap. Like yeah, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. Like you had interviews in the uh, 2013, 2015. Like yo, like Gap needs to fuck with me. Like I'll be the Steve Jobs of Gap. Like <laughs> and. I can see it. Like, you can see it really yeah. happening. It was though. called like, up crazy. Bro, he man. really is the Malcolm X of fashion for black people. Like, if niggas don't accept that, like, the doors he opened, like, bro. like you said, like, he really, he broke down a lot of barriers. He's kicking down doors, bro. And it's, it's, I, I, like, regardless if you don't like Kanye, regardless of whatever he did, stuff like that, but like, shit like, this, these moments you have to celebrate, like, just for the fact that you, you got the balls to have that vision of I'm about to I'm a I'm a nigga up on the south side of Chicago. Nah, I'm about to be the I'm about to be a running gap. Watch. Hmm. And then like years go by and you do that shit, bro. It's power in that, bro. It's mm-hmm. power in your words. Like really like manifestation, man. Yeah. Really having the imagination to really like, nah, like I'm gonna make this shit happen. Like that shit is uh is admirable. Like you gotta definitely like like, yeah, he's pretty, yeah, sure. he's pretty much like the creative director. They said the whole story is gonna be remodeled in store, like how the lines are presented. Be real. God oh. was going down before that shit. I was just yeah, about to mention bro, that. Bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not, yo, I used to rock with Gap when I was younger. Heavy. Everybody's going Gap back used to, to be Gap. lit when I was younger. Yeah, Gap used to be fire, bro. Yeah, bro. And it it fits well with like their color palettes and his too, mm-hmm. like like the, the likeness that he has with their, you know, mm-hmm. very neutral. Very essential. It's right along his alley too. So it's, yeah, we, it's a perfect fit. We perfect switching fit. over to the easy gap tees now. Nah, fuck polo. It's a fact. I, I have yeah, yeah. polo shirt. It's man. a fact. So he said his goal is to create modern, elevated basics for men, women, and kids at accessible price points, hmm. which is something that he said he wanted to do a while ago. As far as like the easy shoe line and all that. Mm-hmm. So is he going to be releasing shoes through Gap too, or just like the? Yeah, I saw some shoes. I, saw, I, saw. I see. I, yeah, I seen those seven hundreds. That was like white and blue. Was it royal blue? Yeah, and he's yeah, on shoes too. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. That boy, I fuck with that boy, blue. That's my. That's my color. Right there. I think it's a machine, man. Huh? Yeah. Can't stop yeah, that, man. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to him, man. Regardless how you feel emotionally, man. Just, you know what I mean? 
Just clap it up for him real quick, man. All right, show some love for Lawrence. Just, just, showing it, just showing it can be done, man. Just, like, whatever you put your mind to, if you really focus and work hard at that shit, like, that shit can, that shit can happen. So, regardless of how, how it gets done, whatever path you take, you know what I mean? Get the job done. That's what we do. Yeah, I see the, um... All the people that left the Yeezy train slowly making their way back on. Right. Yeah. Trying to act like, trying to act like they wasn't just bashing last year. I remember you. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, I wasn't happy with a lot of stuff he did too, but I'm not going to publicly go out and bash him if that's somebody that I've always fucked with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah he, he definitely had his, his ups and downs. So he had a roller coaster. As every human. Mm-hmm. Right, bro. <laughs> so just yeah, so celebrate the wins, man. Celebrate the wins. Do you, you think any other artists could pretend you see any artists newer now that could really kind of like do some shit like that? Like really like revolutionize the field of outside of rap, outside of music? Shit, me? Nah. Yeah. Uh, um, I think, shit, I mean, it's a lot of niggas. Like when you get money like that, you can really do what you want with it. It's just yeah. a matter of what they want. You know what I mean? So I can see a couple people if they had that drive, if, if whatever field, like I'm not sure what field people are you know what I mean have they eye on but if they want to do that shit I, I wouldn't surprise me Facts. yeah that's what I was thinking like what what like other fields would it be because everybody knows apparel and fashion is like so close to hip hop to where it's it's a little bit more um in the stratosphere for, for somebody to make it in that arena or whatever hmm. because they're like- so closely tied together like it'll be like basketball and shoes Jordan and Nike Shit like that. I, I I think the next the next wave is gonna be tech. It has to be like a rapper who's willing to take that risk. Like we seen uh Dr. Dre, he did his thing with with the headphones, mm-hmm. his phone technology. You know what I'm saying? Like I think it's gonna come down to like uh artists who like they team up who gonna team up with a video game and like yeah. let me creative directors like I, what Travis Scott did with the concert on Fortnite. That yeah. shit was that shit was. Groundbreaking for real, for real. That was tired. Like eleven facts. million, had like eleven million people in the uh in one for for night setting or whatever. I think Thug about to try to do one. Thug about to try to. Yeah, yeah I think I think what? he's doing a performance with somebody else. It's, it's not it's not the same as Travis's. Like yeah, to where Travis like did the whole event. Yeah. Like around Astro World, it's not gonna be like that. Yeah, but <laughs> but it's like if you if 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 an artist can like like yo let me team up with this big tech company and let's create some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, who gonna take that risk? Who gonna, who gonna, you know what I mean, break down that barrier? Cause I, I think that's, that's what's gonna, that's what we gonna see in the future with, with VR and shit, all, all that shit, bro. Who, them virtual concerts right around the fucking corner, dog. Mm. Like, Damn, that's depressing. <laughs> bro, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's the reality. Yeah, we never gonna have that concerts again, bro. I think we have kind of well, I mean, yeah. It's just going to be a different Yeah, in 2022. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We Bro, they like, might as well have I mean, if you see what's going on right now, everybody's just doing their own thing. Like, there's gatherings yeah. happening at many places. Yeah. That, there are about yeah. as many people as, like, a small venue. Yeah, and that's why you keep seeing some of these states that reopen closing now. Like, you see Texas, they close back all their stuff again because yeah. the, you know, cases Yo, they in Florida have a spike. Up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh they shit yeah. now. Yeah, they closing down the beaches for uh Better not come back with no shit. Nah, I'm going to Charlotte, dog. Oh, oh yeah. I, I don't know why I thought you was going to Florida. We were supposed to travel down there, we were supposed to drive down there, but we we gonna see. This your first time going to Charlotte? Nah, I've been to Charlotte too many times. Yeah, Charlotte's wavy. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I like it too. Buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's mad people from Buffalo that's moved down to Charlotte. Yeah, don't nice. um, E. Ross got got one of his businesses down there? Yeah, I'm I, I don't be. know 100%, but I wouldn't be surprised. I believe so. I don't know. Because this week, this week has been a lot of uh, music dropping. It hasn't been too much, like, news, news. Yeah. But it's like, I, I'm noticing the uh, people starting to pick up as far as their releases. So, like, do you think uh, we've seen uh, black have his new little marketing campaign and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Do you think any of the, like the bigger artists, like you think of the Drake's, the the big the heavy hitters that's supposed to drop this year, do you think uh they gonna have a insane marketing scheme? When well, I think it all depends. Drop it? I think it all depends on when the niggas gonna be able to tour. Because I feel like 
Me personally, if I was a Drake, yeah, too. I'm not dropping my album if I if I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tour for another two years. You know what I mean, like especially with his up, upcoming one. Yeah, so it's like I don't know. That question is up in the air because it's like we don't know what's about to happen. You know what I mean? Like they they might do it. I mean, maybe they put out an album now and then maybe if it is a year or so, to, they might put out another one. But you think it's gonna start a big fan base though? No, uh, I mean. People putting out music, but it's just like, I feel like fans also want to experience music. You know what I mean? Like, listening to music is cool, but getting that full experience yeah. is like... Yeah. Yo, I think this would be a great time for Drake to just drop his straight hip-hop album. Because the songs that he really are... The songs that he's really, like, looking forward to performing is normally, like, the um, pop joints or, like, the radio hit joints. Mm-hmm. So if he just drops straight, like, a deep-cut album, just straight hip-hop... Didn't he say 10, he wasn't going to do that, though? Or didn't he yeah, say- but I'm saying he can't... You saying he can't tour or can't perform? That's part of his performance having both sides. Yeah. So if he can't tour for two years, this would be the perfect time for him to put that out for the fans that want it. Mm. That will be dope. Yeah. Even his, even his hip hop shit though, bro. His rap shit. You still be looking forward to that. The concert, mm-hmm. oh, deep. Like mm-hmm. he's just that. He's just that. Like no matter what he does or what he has coming right now, like. Like I agree with Dion. I don't know if he's gonna want to put that out, knowing that he can't tour. Because of remember, Eddie Glenn was supposed to put an album in April, and now they changed. Yeah, they changed it. Mm-hmm. To dropped this. the mixtape. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. What was your favorite joints on there? I don't think we did that. We that didn't. No mania. What was yours, bro? Uh, mine were. I know Blues Clues. Um. Blues Clues on my playlist in the world. I say I go Sagittarius. Where he's talking, yeah. Mm, sun is up. Dance for me, one call away. Mm, maybe Barry Bonds. Mm. Oh, I like memories faded in a little too. Facts. Yeah, I'll just go say. with those ones. Yeah, I got. So I have Blues Clues, Memories Faded, One Call Away, uh, Dance for Me, Hellcat. Sagittarius, man, that's a lot. It's, yeah, that's a good yeah. lot. My top three are definitely Memories Faded, Interlude. Um, which one call it? Memories Faded, Interlude. Um, Zits. Zits is hard. Um, and then Chrome Hearts. Chrome Hearts. Yeah, yeah, that's towards the end. And I like how on this one they have tracks where it's just one or the other. It's not both of them on every track. Like their two previous projects, they didn't have anything like that and on this one. Like two of my favorite joints is just Derek Wise. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, not bad. Not Chrome Hearts. I'm thinking of Sticks and Stones. That's the one with just Derek Wise. Yeah. I think it's just him on Sun Is Up. I believe too. Yeah. Sun, Sun Is Up. Sticks. Sticks and Stones. Sun Is Up. And then My Way is just Camino. My you know? Way is hard yeah. too. Yeah. My Way is tough. Yeah, yeah. My Way is tough. How do y'all, uh, how do y'all, uh, outside of, like, go scrolling, like, on the new music section on, uh, like, whatever streaming platform, how do y'all find y'all new music? I just be on different apps, uh, Audio Max, SoundCloud, sometimes just Twitter, um, just random. I just be, like, I, like, a lot of times I'll be hearing about new shit from y'all, because mm-hmm. I don't always be knowing when new shit come out, but some of the, and then I follow, like, an Instagram page. Um, but I just be scrolling and coming across it or I'll happen to see an artist announce it and then mm-hmm. yeah that's usually the same with me like I follow an uh, Instagram page on or Instagram and Twitter page and see what, when they're you know they put a collective of different people that's gonna be releasing at midnight or oh. on a such a day for next month yeah. singles albums you know they have a list out like that and I just kind of pick through the through the middle of that and then Sometimes I go on the browse section on Apple Music, like just on a Friday or Monday, just to see if like if it's any new like hidden gems I don't know about, or if it's like a cover that'll stick out to me that that looks dope, that's very captivating, and it's I'll be like, damn, might as well take a look, you know. And I end up messing with that artist just based off of their artwork, and that's what we always say, like yeah. the aesthetic and the and the you know the look behind everything too can sometimes draw people in if you if you know how to market yourself right you know yeah cover art is very important to me that's <laughs> yeah. how that's how I'll be finding new R&B Same. 
Uh, I'll probably say just like Instagram pages, people I follow on Instagram, if they, they might post the artist, I might check them out. Or if I'm like thinking, if I've been hearing about an artist and I've been meaning to check them out, somebody whose music opinion I might respect, I'll see them like post it or be bumping it. I'm like, right, I should probably check it out. Yeah. 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 It's pretty much scrolling Instagram, different pages, um, hearsay, people put me on. Facts. Yeah. Or artists posting it. Yeah, artists posting it. Yeah. yeah, I'm big on I'm big on the uh the cover art shit too. So yeah. That shit can, catches my eye. Like that's how I found out about uh, funny people. Mm, yeah, yeah, I was, I was like, oh, that shit was dope. Yeah. yeah. Click it and see that shit was good. Um, that's kind of like what me and me and Don were talking about with Pierre's uh, cover art because at first with without the deluxe he just put a purple box you know what I mean purple palette and Don was I didn't mind it but I didn't really I knew I was looking we all were looking forward to more but like I was like yo like why you just have the deluxe cover as just the you know what I mean yeah, which bro. is true I was like yeah. yo this if deluxe cover is hard like that, I probably would have like I don't know. It's just the way I received it going into it. That purple cover just wasn't. It mat yo yeah. the, the. It didn't match the energy of the album at all. And Especially the like did. the type of artist Tick Pierre is just so versatile, and creative. Like, come mm-hmm. on, bro, purple. <laughs> I mean, he in his defense, he has been doing that purple trend for a while. The the first previous Pierre's was a purple trend, so it made sense. That's, That's why I, was, I wasn't half purple in it though. Huh? He could have did it like that. The deluxe cover had purple in it. Yeah. That deluxe cover is hard, bro. bro I had one a of the we best of the year. That hard. One of the best of the year. Yeah. yeah we What's the, was, it was another project too that came out that I did that I want to speak on. Uh, Laura Finesse. He got a joint called Laura Finesse presents uh, Motown State of Mind, and mm. he like remixed a bunch of like old school classics, but like put like a little hip, put like some eight oh eight too, like like touch up mm. on the beats and shit like that. And this shit sound groovy as hell. So it's like, you get a chance, check out the uh, Lord Finesse project. Yeah, send that in the chat. Facts. All right, man. Yeah, boys, well, good. We all set. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Always love, love y'all. Right, yeah, man. rest in peace to anybody who lost someone to violence. This shit gotta stop, man. Yeah, yeah man. We gotta Before appreciate time. each other so, so other people will. Right. Prayers exactly. out to their family, man. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Fine. Play with a pop. Episode 31, we out. Peace. Peace. She watching me like a nigga is cable. I'll be on no label, but my clothes be all labels.